issue with the Catholics having war books is basically an issue to do with translation and um, Augustine not having access to uh, the, 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 the Hebrew, Hebrew original. But it, it, it's an addition of, it, it's not really a massive issue to be honest. These are 10 lies that Protestants believe about Catholicism. Number two, they have fake books in their Bible or they added on extra books into the canon. I think we get really confused because there are fake New Testament gospel books that are not part of anyone's scripture. Those are not the books that are in the Catholic Bible. There's the Old Testament Apocrypha, which are the extra books that are in extra books that are in the Catholic Bible. They're also in the Orthodox Bible, Nestorian, Coptic, any early Christians have these books in their Bibles. I've actually read through them in some of my religion classes in college and they're very, some of them are history books, some of them are like proverbs. It's just kind of just like the history of what happened from the end of the Old Testament until the first century when Jesus came to earth. And then some of it is just poetry type stuff. For some random reason during the Protestant Reformation, Martin Luther thought it'd be cool to just remove these books that had been part of the Christian Bible for 1500 years. And it makes me so angry realizing this now because he was also considering removing James from the Bible because James talks about works and faith and that didn't fit what Martin Luther's theology was so he wanted to remove it. So in a near possible world he also would have removed James from the canon. Well, the problem is in the first century there wasn't an official Bible that all Jews agreed upon, right? You have the Pharisees, you have the Sadducees, they disagreed on a lot of different things. The Pharisees believed in life after death, the Sadducees did not, that's why they're sad, you, you see, see, right? And, <clears throat> and, so we know that the early the early Jews were, you know, debating which books belong in the in in, in the Bible. It wasn't until the, the, the church decided these are the books that are going to belong in the Bible. Now, um, St. Jerome, who was tasked with putting together the official Latin version of the Bible at first, because he was working with rabbis, said, you know, I don't think these books should be in the Old Testament. The, the rabbis don't use them. But he ended up changing his mind on that. And you can see in later letters, he actually refers to books like Sirach as scripture. Um, so, what ends up happening with the Protestant Reformation is Martin Luther doesn't like certain things taught in some of those deuterocanonical books, like, for example, in the book of Maccabees. In 2 Maccabees, we have a line that would seem to imply the existence of purgatory. Martin Luther didn't like that. So he wanted to take those books out, and the fact that Jews weren't using them in his day gave him a good reason to say, oh, look, at, there's a lot of debate. And there had been debate. Uh, some of the fathers, like I said, Jerome had doubts. But when the church put the official list together, it included those books. And what's really interesting is if you look at a Gutenberg Bible, do you know what that is? The Gutenberg Bible? It's I sure do. Yeah, if you look at the Gutenberg Bible, it came off the, the printing press before the Protestant Reformation. They you'll see those. The there you go. I yeah, I've there you the go. I've seen the Gutenberg Bible myself, yeah. actually. Early, so edition, there. early front editions of the King James version as well yeah, yeah and you'll actually see them in uh, other protestant uh translations mm -hmm. there are there are debates among protestants about you know this